Hudson, yeah, you know it's Cubtober, Halloween edition, you already know we bout it, hope you ready for some spooky, sexy, crazy outfits, uh, don't run, don't hide, but you might fear, Halloween queen, ayy, yeah, she right here, a sensual and seductive nightmare, ayy, October is for those of us here on YouTube every single Saturday there's going to be a brand new Halloween themed video I came up with the idea to do a miniature house but of a witch house not witch house a witch's house just a two-story shelf but I am so excited to fill it so I got a lot of things for it at the store like I said they were having a 50% off sale might as well might as well. Let me do some rapid fire and show you all the things that I got. Mini fireplace. Mini bookshelf. This fucking adorable rug. Bushes. More bushes. What is this? The 70s? Individual shingles. Picture frames. Tiny bottles. Tiny chandelier. This tiny black table. Smash! Wrestling. No, okay. Miniature candles. This tiny mirror. This square white what? What was that? This square white what? Wug. <laughs> this square white rug. Right, rug. Oh my god. It's a rug. It's white. It's square. You get it. Autumn trees. Cauldron. Let's see what this kit comes with. Oh wait, is this a miniature? Why is it so big? Wait, should I spray paint these pieces individually? Let's go. All right, ow. Alright, we are out in the wild, here with civilians. What? Now I'm just going to spray paint it with this black spray paint that I already have in my garage. Let's just see what happens. This is hello. This is hello. We're gonna let that sit and dry. See you in a sec. We are back. This side is dry, it's been like 30, 40 minutes or so. It's been long enough that they are good enough to flip up. Car drove by as soon as I did that, so that's cool. All right, we'll let that dry and we'll see if it needs another coat. If not, I will see you tomorrow. I can't get out of the frame, oh God. Welcome back to day two. We are working on the floorboards. Weirdly, I'm so excited it's floorboards, but it's Halloween floorboards, which is going to take a very long time because I want to hand make them. So let's begin. <laughs> now that the house is all built, it was a struggle. Not gonna lie to you. Measure out the floor with this black construction paper and see what we gotta work with. I have just folded this over, glued it. So it will be the proper size right in there and I'm gonna try and cut off the rounded ends so it's more like floorboard shaped I don't know I'm gonna glue them to this paper that we made for our floor plan let's get into it We haven't burned ourselves with a hot glue gun yet, so things are looking up. <gasps> After I just said I haven't burned myself. Fuck. Bloop. Lose my mind just a little bit. Here's what we have so far. But now. Kapow! Now look at it. I just realized we're gonna have to make a second floor. I need to take a dab before I can do the second floor. <laughs> dab done. And just like that, 
The second floor is done. All right, so I think this is gonna be the last thing that we can do before night falls. And we all know what happens at nighttime. <laughs> or maybe that's just what happens when I'm hangry. I have some stain in this cup mixed with some water to dilute it down. And I'm gonna take this sponge brush and just like <laughs> it all over. Oh, that's so light. Okay, yeah, we're gonna need more dye than that. Okay, give me one second. Okay, let's try this color. Ooh, yeah. Alrighty, we are now done. Look at these boards. Aren't those nice ass boards? They look great. Let's let them dry though. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. <laughs> Did I scare you that time? kitty cat <laughs> welcome to the next day let me show you how the floors turn out and they look so good let's see what kind of things we have to put in the house how we can paint them and make them spooky <laughs> meow oh my god we could glue the shingles on they have to be glued on one by one Okay, maybe not today. You can see what I kind of sketched on there. All right, let's see if this works. We're for sure gonna be able to get this to work. I'm gonna have to hack at it for a while though. Woo! And just like that, evil is all around us. I'm going to paint the fireplace. I'm just going to paint the fireplace gray and then I'm going to do a dark watered down wash of black all over it just to make it extra spooky. Okay, so let's make this gray. And now it's gray. Dip it in the water that's supposed to be the stain and then I just like dilute it down. The little mirror has been painted black. Let's see what we can do with this tiny shell. Okay, so I didn't think the bookcase was spooky enough. So what I'm doing is I'm taking that same stain brush that we just did the fireplace with, and I'm just adding some drips and, you know, some other goodies to the fire, to the, oh God. Let's work on one more thing and then call it a day. Let's make tiny little scrolls. Oh, I'm excited about this one. I'm gonna start by throwing this idea away. No, I'm just kidding. Rip just a bunch of tiny pieces of paper. So I brewed up a little bowl of coffee. That's a weird sentence. Let's drop these little slivers of paper in the bowl of coffee. All right, let's just dunk. Bloop. They did the monster mash, the monster mash. Any last words? Too bad. Would it be weird to take a sip of this after all that paper's been in? Oh, I hate coffee. Oh my God. We have to let that dry. And I have a feeling it's gonna take a while. So I will see you in just a little bit. Whoop. Welcome back. It is the next day. This is how the pieces of paper came out. Let's see if I can burn the edges just a little bit and make them look even grungier. We want to do it just ever so slightly. Not too much. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, I said slightly. I said slightly. Slightly. Ah, fuck, my finger. tiniest bit of glue anyone's literally ever seen. It's on this scroll right now. And there we go, there's one tiny scroll. Now let's just make 10 more of these little guys. I have all the scrolls scrolled. These little ones that I just like scribbled writing on. Um, this one, I scribbled the lyrics to the Monster Mash. He did the Monster Mash. I was thinking about Mod Podging this like to the ceiling. Let's just do it. Doesn't that look kind of cute with like little stars? I 
Okay, we have to let the Mod Podge dry. I think it's time to start on the roof. Let's just do it. I'm gonna be gluing each and every one of these on individually. Hopefully I don't regret this. <gasps> Fuck. There we go again. Ow. It's looking good. It's looking spooky with these like falling off ones and everything, but like we're running out really fast. They ran out of shingles as we predicted. I'm going to order some more shingles. Okay, we have our starry ceiling looking beautiful in there. Let's call it a night. Hi. Good morning. I kind of wanted to put some wallpaper. Right, let's just try it. Let's just try it. While we're gonna wait for that to dry, we're gonna take these little jars and I'm gonna mix up different shades of resin and just drop the different colors of resin in these jars and hopefully the jars look like they're filled with different sorts of creepy goodies. Here goes the tiny liquid. Okay, there is our tiny glass of liquid. Liquid. It's so cute! <laughs> for these last three bottles, I think I have a plan for them. Okay, let's do a mix of dill and Italian in one jar. Some smoked paprika in another jar. Take this tiny spoon and funnel it into the tiny jar. Cute! Haha! Uh -huh. The dust is all over the little jar. Oh. <laughs> Let's go other with the others. <laughs> Alrighty, now that we're back upstairs, I don't know why I'm doing an accent. I have my makeup palette, a bunch of different browns, oranges. Put it on that wallpaper that is now dry. Alright, the last thing that I'm going to do for today is hang this miniature chandelier. Oh, that was probably too much glue. Oh well. Ah! It looks so cute! Okay, so I can't quit. Sue me. I'm gonna try and take these tiny strips of scrap paper, roll them up, hot glue them closed, and then drip hot glue on them to try and make some candles, maybe? It's so tiny. Oh, look at it! And now we have these little tiny candles. I am officially done for today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Ooh. Hello, my pretty. Can I scare you? I have all these goodies, though. So let's... Do whatever that was. Let's start by unpackaging all this. It was $4. What the fuck was this? That I am now putting in my tiny witch house. And here's everything we got at the store. Let's hang this first. And done! Candeliers really add so much to the room. I got really high last night and decided to do the wainscoting. I went ahead and took the wallpaper from the ceiling, brought it down halfway down the walls, did the wallpaper that's on the... Are you fucking kidding me? And then I chopped the ends off of four popsicle sticks and I just glued them on. I also painted them with markers, believe it or not. Okay, this is just to look kind of spooky and creepy to go on like a wall. I don't know which wall, but like it's just going to be on a wall. Next, I want to work on the curtains, but I kind of want to watch a YouTube video. So let's just do a little time lapse with some spooky music. And go.
seriously have this terrible feeling. Like I all right, now that the foam clay is all dry, I'm just going to measure it up against the window and cut it where I need. I'm gonna take this little end piece that I made and put it on the end, like that thing. It's the end of the curtain rod. And boom, we have a realistic miniature curtain rod. Now let's add the curtains to hide these drips. Cause yuck. All right, the curtains are Finally in. I have the curtains on the bottom done too. We're gonna call it a night here and I will see you guys tomorrow. Sleep tight. Ha! Topo Chico. The shingles came in! Excited? But I'm not excited. Let's do a time lapse and just finish this fucking roof. There's so much roof to still do. <laughs> did I forget how long it takes to do all this? Yes, yes I did. I also added trim on the front and the sides. Let's paint it tomorrow because I am so exhausted. See you tomorrow. <gasps> Goodbye. It's the last day. There's only a few more things that I want to do to it, and I think we can wrap it all up today. So the other day when I was a little bit bored, I went ahead and put the siding on. I added some paint, as you can see, in like the corners and just like randomly. The first thing we're going to do tonight to finish up this beautiful, decrepit witch house on the base that it's going to sit on. It's also going to have some little outdoor features, so. Let's get started on that base. Because you know I'm all about that base, about that base. My plan is to take these foam shapes and make a outdoor area. Like this grassy ground stuff. All right, now that the house is on the board, let's start decorating. Now that the outside of the house is done, let's put these on. You know how in like abandoned houses they have like boards on the window? Boards. Now the only thing left to do, put in all the accessories. I found a Yankee Candle Spiced Pumpkin, perfect for the holiday season, but I think this is a little bit too big for the witch. Let's make it witch-sized. That's more like it. Perfect size. Just to add that. So I have this Halloween spooky sound vinyl. We gotta make it witch-sized. Much better. So tiny. This is Halloween, but we gotta make it witch sized. She can't listen to this. <sighs> Much better. You know what we have to do. <sighs> Much better.
for another Koto Brew video. Stay spooky!